All right, guys, so today we're going to do something a little different. You guys have seen me shopping. You guys have seen me um, eating. You guys have seen me training. We are at my parents' residence where I grew up um, in Oak Ridge, New Jersey. And for those that don't know, my dad has been butchering for well over 50 years. Uh, he butchered in the uh, meat markets and the supermarkets. Um, and then he opened up his uh, fishing and hunting business that he owned for over 15 years. But um, he always butchered deer. So my parents have a two-car garage. And what we do is we process the meat. So people go out that hunt and harvest deer, um, you know, deer, boar, bear. We, we, we butchered a lot here. But um, they bring it to us and we pretty much cut it to uh, their liking. So they, they drop the deer off. So it's the service to that, that we provide. But the point of today's video is pretty much a lot of bodybuilders and a lot of people and fitness enthusiasts talk about eating healthy, but really not knowing where the cuts of meat come from, which ones are healthiest, leanest, um, and where the even cuts of the meat come from um, on the cow. Even though we're gonna be butchering deer today, where the meat comes from on the animal is exactly the same where it comes from um, on a cow. So uh, if you guys are, uh, are a little weird with blood, I I, it, I would turn this, <laughs> this part off. So, um, it's very informative. I think you guys are gonna get a lot out of it, so uh, follow along. Can't do that, huh? You've been doing, you're, how old? You're 38? 38, you've been doing this since you were like three? So 35 years, you still can't fucking sharpen I'm the <laughs> overhead meat press. Did you, this seems like high, because I'm like damn near on my fucking tipping toes. No, it is high. It used to be on that table and I got the vacuum well, sealer on. My <laughs> I know. Well, your son's not really... Everybody asked what happened to all the guys that were harassing me on social media. I wonder where they went. <laughs> we have already removed the ribs off of the deer. There's not that much meat left on the deer, so. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the shoulders, so I'm going to give them over to the Guy, and what he's going to do is he's going to bone his shoulders out, and what we cut out of the shoulders are basically, we can get some steaks and stew and chopped meat out of the shoulder. All right, the Guy will remove the muscle meats off the shoulder. This is cutlets. This is the shoulder blade right here. Yeah. So this, this is all... See, I... But if I wouldn't eat it, I don't give it to somebody. So that I wouldn't eat, that goes in. And then anything that doesn't turn into roast stew, steaks, cutlets, gets thrown into here, which we call scraps. And that's what we make the chopped meat out of. We make the sausage out of. These here, these two muscle meats right here, is actually the filet mignon. So when, when this guy field dressed his deer, he took the knife, probably not realizing it, and he slashed them, and he really cut them open pretty bad. So uh, this is the actual, what they call your filet mignon, is right here. You got about so you got to trim that up the best you can. If you can't do anything with it, guy, then it's going to have to go into grind. Still These are called the back straps. This is like the... The guy with the yeah. most people feel and the deer hunters is the filet mignon of the deer. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the whole loin, the whole back. We're going to take it all down. All right. Get off. <clears throat> this is Anthony, I'll give this to Anthony. He's going to make a roast out. I know. I don't know how Trim it, lean it out, and then we're going to grind some chopped meat. We're going to season it, we're going to roll it, and we're going to chet net it. You know when you're ready, bud. Yeah. yeah. So we're breaking down the hind quarter right now. This is where most of your main cuts of meat come from. So I'm going to open up the hind quarter, break it down, and I'm just going to shoot it over to my dad. He's going to tell you which cut of meat it is, what to look for in the store, because a lot of times in the store, I think a lot of people buy meat and they don't understand where the cut comes from. So I'm going to open this up and then pass it over to my dad, and he's going to break it down and explain exactly what each cut of meat is. All right, right there, that, that muscle that he just took off the end, this is part of what we call it the sirloin, the sirloin line. And that's where you would actually get a boneless sirloin steak if it was cut thick. That would be a sirloin right there. Very, these are a very tender, good piece of um, good muscle meat. It's got a, a, a lot of flavor to it. It comes off the loin end. Go ahead, guy. Basically, on a hind quarter, there's um, there's actually four. There's four muscles. There's what we call the bottom round, the top round, the top sirloin or the knuckle, and then they have the eye round. The eye round is a muscle that's attached to the bottom round, and you'll see it when guy is done. That muscle that you see right there is the what we call it the knuckle or the top sirloin. Just throw that in for grind. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the top. That's the top sirloin. And out of here, there's a. We can make multiple. We can make multiple cuts. One, you can use it as a complete roast. Number one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lean it up. He doesn't want stew, does he? Mm -mm. No stew, right? Steaks. Steaks and roasts. Steaks and, and roasts. Vegetables. Okay. So I'm going to do is I'm going to lean this up. I'll clean it up a little bit. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make steaks out of this one. All right, these are nice what we call top sirloin steaks, or they would cut them really thick. Call it a top round London, uh, I mean um, a top sirloin London broil. That one right there, 
that's the bottom round. That has the eye round attached to it. If you see that one muscle meat right in here, hold your knife, guy. This is this is a, considered a whole bottom. This is your eye round. Okay. And this is, this your, is your bottom what, round. What's this? Well, that's your femoral artery. <laughs> that's what that is. Femoral artery. Did you say femoral? Femoral artery. Femoral artery. Femoral. Femoral. Seminum. <laughs> so, what he's doing is now this is a whole bottom. The whole bottom's got the eye round attached. I'm going to remove the eye round. And I'm going to give them these whole as two eye round rows. So when we do the other hind quarter, that's your whole eye round. And this is your trimmed bottom without the eye round now. So we're just going to trim this up. And this one I'm going to make steaks because that's what the customer requested. Steaks I cut about three quarters of an inch. I don't cut them really thick like an inch thick. And then that's basically known as what you would call, you'd see it in a supermarket, as a Swiss steak. And that right there is your, that's your top round. That there is a boner. That's a boner. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys like roast beef sandwiches, this is what they cook up. All right. They'll, they'll season it, and they roast this in the ovens. All right. And that's what you would get your roast beef from or your top round London broil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make steaks out of the top round. This would be your top round London broil. If you will see a top round London broil. Right here. And we're just making them all into, we could call them steaks or mini London broils, right there. You got to pick it up and rip. Here, stand down there and, and, and put them down there, line these up down there. have here is basically all your all your cuts here from the from the uh, the neck and the shoulder right here these cuts here are from your your bat your loin your back straps your tender loins the rest of the cuts are all from your two hind quarters so you know, a lot of times we'll make cutlets uh, the customer didn't want any stew he just wanted steaks so we didn't make any cutlets we didn't make any stew all of that the steaks of the cutlets, of course, we made into steaks, and stew and everything went into grind for for chopped meat. All right, guys. So we just finished uh, butchering some deer here in uh, my hometown, Oak Ridge, New Jersey, with my dad and my brother Anthony. So this is something I've been doing since I was friggin' knee high, and uh, continue to do to this day. Uh, my brother kind of took over and does it a lot more than me since I live a little further away. But him and my dad butcher three, four hundred deer every single year. Um, they do a lot of federation. Uh, stuff a lot of guys donate a lot of deer to federations and stuff like that so um it's awesome to have a trade to be able to butcher like this i've been doing it for so long and uh, i do it maybe a couple times a year but you guys saw it's like uh clockwork you really don't miss a beat um once you start doing something as repetitive as this so um it's a talent that i'm blessed to uh, have and uh i'm sure my brother's gonna pass it down to his kids and maybe one day my kids so guys sister nino blackstone labs from the sister nino household butcher shop we're out